Hello again. Welcome to the first of two blogs I'm going to do looking at how we can use iLogic to configure which sketches in an inventor drawing are made visible. We're actually going to try and control the visibility of the sketches in the inventor drawing based on whether the sketch is visible in the parent inventor model that the drawing is looking at. Why would you want to do this? Well, if you've got a bit of a way down the road in terms of creating iLogic configurable assemblies or parts, you may frequently want to um, display sketches from those parts in an inventor drawing. We can do that simply by right clicking on the part in the sketch uh, in the inventor drawing and saying get model sketches. That will display any sketches that are perpendicular to the drawing view. But what about if we've got a configurable model like we've got here uh, and in some configurations we want one sketch to show and in other configurations we want a different sketch to show. Unfortunately by default out of the box inventor drawing sketches in, in a drawing do not are not linked in terms of their visibility to whether the sketch is visible in the model or not. So any configuration that you put in the model to turn sketches on and off will not be reflected in the drawing automatically and you'd have to manually potentially go into dozens of parts um, to turn on and off different sketches based on the configuration that you've used. So hopefully that makes sense. The reason we're doing this blog in two parts is there's really two um, sections of iLogic that we need for this. We need a bit of iLogic to actually turn the sketches on and off in the model based on the configuration that we choose. And we also need a bit of iLogic to, um, to, to run from the drawing that says match the visibility in the drawing to the visibility in the part or the assembly. Basically, if the model sketch is visible, turn it on in the drawing. If the model sketch is invisible, turn it off in the drawing. Hopefully that makes sense. I think it'd be fair to say that this is a more advanced iLogic topic and hence another reason why I'm splitting it into two blogs. So I'll be providing the code for uh, for both of these parts. The uh, the model code and the drawing code as well. So first off, what do we have here? Well, we've got a, uh, a, a unit for a kitchen and this is being controlled by a simple iLogic form that allows me to adjust things like the width and the depth and the height. And what we've done is we've put a sketch on the drawing, sorry, on the model that uh, shows me the, the the commonly accepted symbol for which way the drawings, uh, the uh, the door is going to open. Okay, um, but we've also got another sketch on here as well. So if I look down here in the model, we've got a sketch for whether the door is opening the right hand side or whether it's opening on the left hand side. Looking at these uh, names of these sketches, it looks like I may have got them the wrong way around, but that doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's just look at the principle here. So. Um, and what I want to do is when I switch the um, the model to change to a left-hand side configuration, I want these sketches to toggle as well. Okay, so I'm going to switch here, door handle left, and you see various things happen in the model, but in this case we're just concerned with the fact that this sketch, um, let's just scroll this uh, browser down a little bit if we take a look at this sketch here we see we are toggling the left hand side and right hand, right hand side sketch uh, visibility. That is just visibility there, you can't suppress a sketch so we're just turning it on and off visibly. Okay, so how are we doing this with the iLogic? Well, let's take a look at our rules in here. It's a pretty straightforward rule. We start out nice and easy. We're simply just defining the document and then we're saying if a parameter called door handle has a value of left, then find the sketches, this is the name of the sketch, make it visible, true or false. And then we've got the reverse scenario there. If the door handle opening is right, then do the opposite. Okay, so that's really nice and straightforward. But what I thought I would do as well, I'll provide that code at, at the bottom of the blog, but what I thought I'd do as well is to um, get some code together for how we would do this in an assembly because it's all, not always uh, obviously just working with single parts 
and uh, we've got a configurable assembly model which is very similar to the part model we were just looking at we've got a form in here we can do similar things in here to changing the width and changing the height and so on and so forth and we may want to again display this symbol in a drawing so um, let's just check that it works and then we'll take a look at what is going on under the bonnet with this one as well so you can see when we toggle this parameter called door handle between left and right we are toggling the opening uh, symbol as well which is the sketch so if I hit done there let's take a look at what's going on with this down in one of these parts the door part we've got two sketches again they're called open symbol right hand and left hand and uh, we just want to toggle between the display of these two. It's not quite as simple to turn the, the, the sketches on and off in this case because we're turning a sketch on and off in a, a sub part um, so we need to do a few extra sort of uh, jump through a few extra hoops there to get that to work so um, let's head into our rules here we've got another rule in here called door opening sketch and let's take a look at this so we are we're just declaring two booleans that's a true or false and then we're setting whether those two booleans are true or false based on the same parameter if door handle is left then visible left is true right hand is false but these are just two booleans what we have to do down here is we have to do a bit more heavy lifting um, so we're defining the component that we want to um, control the sketches in so that name there as with usual uh, in iLogic that name there refers to the name in the browser um, and then we have to go in we're defining the sketch that's the name of the sketch that we want to change then we have to define a proxy for the sketch which uh, is a bit more of an advanced inventor API thing we won't go into that here but it's just because it's a sub component and then we are just saying we want to make the sketch visible um, that LH visible will it be either true or false depending on the doors left and right um, so it's a bit more code but that should give you enough to get started if you do need to um, replicate different scenarios of turning sketches on and off using iLogic for your configurators so this is the end of blog one we're going to keep it nice and short and sweet I'll provide that code and I'll be interested to see uh, how you guys get on with it thanks a lot for watching and blog number two I should say is going to be taking these sketches that we've now wonderfully configured in the uh, part or assembly file and making sure the drawing matches what we've done in the model without having to go and configure the drawing again okay thanks a lot